guys welcome back to my channel it's naturally net k here on youtube um so today i am going to be reviewing this palette by glam white it's their cake palette um i've seen this palette on instagram a bunch of times and you know once you click on it once or twice um it like saves your cookies it saves your history so it knows that you want it and so i just kept seeing it popping up and so i just decided to order it um, so I got it back in the mail the other day and I figured why not let my first review be with you guys. Um, I've never used this palette before. I've only looked inside at the colors and that's about it. So um, just a little bit about the packaging. It came with this cute little note that just tells you a little bit about the company. Um, the palette itself is enclosed in this case that looks like an oven. I thought that was really, really cute. And then so we take it out. This is the palette here. This is the palette here. And these are the colors. So I'm going to be using these colors today. Um, I don't have a look in mine at all. Like I said, this is my first time using this palette. And it is a raw review of the palette. So, um... This is gonna probably going to be trial and error along with you guys. I already primed my eyelids because this video is just solely about this palette. So let's get started. There are a lot, lot of bright colors in this palette. Um, my favorite color is pink. So I think I'm going to take this raspberry color here and let that be the base and since it came with the mirror I'm just going to use the mirror that it came with dipping it I do have a lot of fallout on the brush but hopefully there's not a lot of fallout once I apply the makeup it seems to be very pigmented which is a plus I like see that's just one application and that's that's pretty bright and I don't seem to be experiencing any fallout from the makeup once I applied it to my eyes so I'll take the fallout on the brush and just to darken those corners up a bit I'm gonna take cranberry Just place it on the edge and just blend it on in. And just because I feel like cranberry pretty much blended in with raspberry, I'm going to take this red velvet color, which is a little bit darker and see if I can build up on the darkness. I'm just going to place that in the corner. And bring it around. And it's blending pretty well. I give it that. It's not hard to manipulate at all. My only downfall is that cranberry and red velvet aren't as dark as I would have liked them to be. They're pretty but they're not not as dark. So I'm just going to try to build that color up a bit. Okay, 
And I'm just going to do this eye off camera exactly like I did this eye. I'm not going to go any further than using those two or three colors that I used the first time. Now that I have both eyes done at the bases, I am going to start a cut crease. I'm using LA Girl in Fawn. And I can't hold that big old palette while I attempt to do this cut crease, so I'm going to use my smaller mirror. eyes which means my eyes create a natural crease so I always do my cut crease a little bit above my eye otherwise when I open my eyes it'll hide anything I created in that crease right there so if my cut crease looks a little high then that's why <laughs> set my cut crease using my BN9 banana powder. And I just use the brush, put a little bit on there and pat it in. <laughs> Okay, now that my crease is set, I'm going to go in with I think I'm going to start off with pineapple Pineapple isn't as pigmented as the other ones I started off with, but it does appear to be buildable. Now I I think I'm gonna follow up pineapple with key lime and let's see where it takes us. just me trying to blend key lime into the yellow so it doesn't have such a harsh line and I gotta tell y'all I'm not really feeling key lime but I'm gonna keep going and just see how it turns out I'm going to go out on a limb and follow up key lime with this birthday cake.
I actually like, just to get rid of this harsh line on the end, I'm going to take Icy Mint, which is a lighter blue, and see if I can blend it in a little bit on the edge. Okay, glam light. Okay, now I'm going to go off camera and do this side uh, the exact same way that I did this side, uh, exact colors and all. Alright guys, so I am back and I have done the other eye. As you can see, I did get just a little bit of fallout, but it's not the major, nothing that I'm really worried about. As um, long as it wasn't just um, like some major fallout that wasn't easy to brush away, but as you can see, that came off very nicely. And so, um, I've completed eyes, so I'm just going to go off camera, finish my foundation, and put some lashes on, and then I'll come back and give you guys my thoughts on the palette. Alright guys, I'm done with this look. I did my foundation, put some lashes on, and then I paired it with this lipstick from Milani and Violet. Um, overall, I really enjoyed this palette. Um, some of the colors I had to build, but not a whole lot. It was very pigmented, very easy to blend. Um, I just love all the bright colors. I think it's going to come in hand this summer. Um, overall, there was a little fallout, but not a whole lot, so I'm not really worried about that. I would recommend you to get this palette. It's Cake by Glam Light. They also have other palettes as well. Um, this was about $40, so request that $40 from your boyfriend, ask him what you need to do for $40 like I did for mine, shout out to him. Um, so, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that it also came with a coupon code, so I'll put that down in the description box below, as well as link the website to this palette. Um, thank you guys for watching, if you found it helpful, if you liked it, please like, subscribe, comment, give me tips. Um, I'm not a professional. I just enjoy doing my makeup. So I figured I'd share that with you guys, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.